away from the beaches and into the forests of the Turkish Riviera, it's time to strap in for day two of Red Bull Sea to Sky. The day one beach race gave us plenty of ocean and sand, with Little Eddie narrowly beating out his father and Wade Young for best time. Now it's day two, and the riders find themselves in the Turkish Timbers for a 42-kilometer wooded trail that offers stunning views and challenging tracks. Setting off one by one into the time trial, the 10 riders with the best times earn a front row spot for the mountain race finale. As Little Letty roars off into the woods, followed closely by his father, Big Letty, let's take a closer look at this dynamic father-son duo. Hello, my name is Manuel Lettenbichler and I'm 18 years old. Yeah, I will be racing this year also um, against my dad. I have my bike here, uh, I do some uh, training with the hobbies, so I decide, okay, free entry, I do the race. Uh, it's really special uh, to race with Manuel. Um, now he's, he grew up and he's really strong and uh, I'm really proud of him. Yeah, it's helping me a lot that I have my dad with me because he has so much experience now and he's now 10 years in the sport so he knows everything and it's just perfect to me. Now my, my job is to be um, a mentor, a mechanic and a father. And, um, I love it to go with him to the races and support him with tips, with you know bike settings and everything. And uh, that's that's my job now, and um, I'm happy with it. We raced together before, and it's always fun. We also train together now, so he is actually mentally strong and also physically. I think I'm fit enough to to see the finish line. I'll try my best to be in front of him. It would be a really really cool thing to be uh, on the podium with Manuel. If we are um, together on the top of the mountain, I will win. Back to the action. Similar to the terrain of his native South Africa, Wade Young is having a field day on the mountain terrain around Kiemer. Thank you. He soon passes the Lettenbichlers and is setting a scorching pace. Austria's Lars Anikol builds on a strong day one performance and tears through the forest like he's in the Austrian Alps. Billy Bolt has rebounded from a beach day breakdown and is showing off his trial skills to match Wade's time. The Lettys are also keeping pace, father and son confirming why they're both top contenders for tomorrow's final race. But heading towards the ocean and over the last obstacles, it's Young who blazes the best time with an hour 30 minutes. Yeah, I'm really happy. Um, it's a good start for tomorrow. Um, so hopefully I'm definitely on the front row and um, I'll focus on to the main race. As for the rest of the podium, Little Eddie finishes two minutes behind Young with Lars Enikel rounding out the top three. For Bolt, bad luck strikes again. After a crash wrecks his bike, the Brit must push it across the finish and settle for fifth place. Yeah, just on the landing, I'm guessing, the impact of that last jump didn't do it the worldly good. With day two in the books, the main race up the intimidating Mount Olympus looms in the distance, with one question still hanging in the air. Who will be the fastest from sea to sky? <laughs> 